Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Brood War cast from the ladder. We're live on stream for this one with Sock over here in the top right hand corner and Larva once again in the bottom right. After I finished that recent series between Sock and Larva, I got a message from Dude Nerd that there's actually a bunch more games between these two in 2024 uh, all on the same day so we're gonna be taking a look at those today we had a really really good series last time so i'm really looking forward to this one and uh i mean tv tvz what's there not to like i definitely have been struggling with this matchup probably the most out of all my matches so maybe after this um replay here we'll take a closer look at the uh, actual build here from larva and we'll see what we can write down what see what we can emulate on the ladder be sending that drone for the 12 hatch here so nothing out of the ordinary so far for larva i want to see when he drops his pool though so he goes with one more drone here being sent out for the scout. Really important that you send out this uh, first drone in today's day and age. The eight racks is just so powerful. Really important to check the center of the map. There it is, dropping it on 11 and a 10 gas. All right, very standard stuff here. Doesn't look like he wants to go for a uh, 2.5 hatch from this opener, but well, that remains to be seen. I'm not sure exactly what is possible with this build, but I don't think you can get a macro hatch in the main with this uh, with this exact timing here. So, SCV is already in the main base. That's pretty nice for Sock. He sees the entire the entirety of the build right now, and I'm gonna pull the uh, drone back. You can see he uh, kind of scouted the middle a little bit. Actually, I thought he would scout all the way to the middle here, but He's going to pull the drone back now that he sees the SCV here. He does not want to allow this SCV to start a bunker. We've talked about it a lot recently is getting on top of this SCV. The moment that it uh, arrives is very important. The moment it starts the bunker, you want to be harassing that already. First Marine is here and oh, the moving shot is nasty. Sock getting a couple of extra hits with that SCV, lowering the HP on that drone, but... Lings are now going to pop, and these Marines do need to fall back. He's going to be checking here, seeing how many Marines are actually out. He sees two. But look at this. Larva hiding two Lings on top of the ramp. He might be baiting in here. Can he get Sock to commit? Sock sees two Lings. He sees two Lings. He still sees two Lings. And here comes his three Marines. But in fact, there are six Lings. And the sixlings here are going to be able to wipe the floor with these three. Great block there from Sock, but I don't think it's going to be enough. No amount of SCV blocking will be enough to save those Marines. A beautiful move here by Larva. I really like this. Such a great adaptation here. And he picks off the SCV. Didn't kill it with the drone. Looks like one of the links got that kill. Great adaptation to the early pressure plays from the Terran players. They have been weaving those into their play a lot recently, and it's great to see a strong adaptation that can take advantage of that type of early aggression. And now look at this. Sock has gone for, you know, the two base or the two uh, barracks timing. Well, it is two base, but two base, two barracks timing. But he doesn't have as many Marines anymore, right? He's very low on that Marine count. Going straight on into Spire here. And a third base down in the bottom left. Everything looking dead standard right now for Larva. No signs of creativity in this build, but very creative with the early Ling, uh, kind of hidden Ling tech. He's going to run by here with three Marine or with three Lings on top of this Marine. Marine goes down and another Marine will fall. Great timing here by Larva. Look at that. He knew that another Marine was about to pop out. And he completely trapped and killed that. 
And he should be ready with this next Marine popping out as well to kill that off. He gets that as well. Three Marines for just two Lings. That is a crazy amount of good damage here. One Sunken was being made back at home to defend. You got to do that when you go with your... Um, when you go with your links for the counterattack, you have to have enough to deal with uh, the, the counter here from the Marine and Medic. So he has the Sunken on the way. He forced the Marines back. Now he's actually built a bunch more links. Can he dive upon this? No, not able to get on top of that. Maybe he will go for it now. He's going to jump on top of this. He gets one Marine. You can see like five links died for one Marine as <laughs> compared to two links for three. That is a little bit rough for Larva. Setting forward the Mutas now. And oh my goodness, we don't have a turret here yet. Too much craziness has gone on in this game, I guess, for Sock. He's lost control of his main. He does not have any turrets here. His timings have been thrown off. We're past six minutes. This is the time for Muta. But only two Muta here. It's a little bit weak. We were able to kill a couple of SCVs. He could get this SCV too. Oh, he doesn't go after that one, unfortunately. But coming in with the Lings here, thinking about trying to deal some damage, he could absolutely have picked off this SCV. That's unfortunate. But continuing with this aggression, pushing here at the front. There's just one turret at each location. Two actually at the natural and a third coming up now, but one here, one here. The main base definitely seems like the place to go, but he's gonna instead start to harass here at the natural. Not gonna get too much out of that. Looping back around towards the main base. And back at home, what do we have? We're just building a ton more Mutilus. We've already got nine, but we're going to continue that pressure here as the flyer attacks comes online. That's going to be our power spike. 11 Muta with flyer attack. I'm going to pick off this turret. Does get that, but takes an extra swipe due to the repair. A very nice repair there from Sock. Now diving on top of these Marines. Does lose quite a few. I guess he lost three and a fourth goes down as well. Now Link's coming in towards the natural, getting a couple of kills here. Two Marines looks like they went down, but all the links have been taken care of. Another four Mutas coming up here as the third gas begins to come online. He's going to start his tech here. Hydralis Den. Plus one is just about to finish. Plus one for Sock is going to finish up as well, though. So they're going to be hitting a little bit harder, just like the Mutas. Just the Hydralis Den for now. Does this mean that he wants to go for like a Hydra or like a Lurker attack fully on the front? No, he's actually adding on the Queen's Nest. So we should see an Evo Chamber soon as well. Maybe after the uh, Hive starts. No Lurker upgrade just yet. Lots of drones on the way here as he continues to micro these Mutalists. Mutalist stack is getting a little low. We've got two Mutas here that are very damaged. This one as well, very low. But he's taking control of the front supply depot area. Oh, losing those two mutas now. That's unfortunate. Getting targeted. Or not targeted, but just unlucky. Losing those two. Now a Valkyrie has hit the field here. But Lurker upgrade's already on the way. That's very important that Lurker upgrade is coming here. Because this Valkyrie will give Sock some space to start moving out on the map. What did Sock just scan? The bottom left-hand corner. And he sees these overlords here too. An interesting scan there. I guess he was trying to pick up on this base. But he does get the confirm on the bottom left. Hydras are being produced. We're just going to come in for some more kills. Very nicely done. We're not building any more. Okay, there's another Valkyrie. He starts a, a third Valkyrie. Well, he kills one of his own Marines to get that Valkyrie going, I guess. Valkyrie was stuck, maybe? Didn't have enough supply for that. Adding on two more supply depots here. Next Valkyrie's gonna come up. Here comes the Scourge. Not able to get that connection. It is very tough to get the uh, Scourge to connect on these Valkyries, but... If you can come in at the same time with the Mutas... That can be a route to victory to actually connecting with those Scourge. Now more sucking Colonies being added on back at home since we failed with the Scourge. 
this is going to be our main route of defense lurkers as well are going to be very important and we're a little bit too far out for sock right now to actually make any progress here adding another building onto the front here he really wants to um, preserve his natural without having any lurkers it's a little bit risky most of the lurkers are being morphed over here in the bottom left mutas are coming forward more scourge have been produced here gonna have to go after these valkyries lest they uh, kill off the overlord is gonna be able to back away for now supply blocked is larva larva cannot make this into a lurker right now which is very unfortunate for him he can start plus one armor though okay he's already got plus one here in the main that's great lurker in the main as well to send that out to the front and it looks like we are completely sealed up but if i know anything about sock he loves to go double dropship and he might just go double dropship in this situation as well you know it's a great spot to do it uh since you've already got that uh air control you can like push away any scourge in the main base and then go for the drop oh my god flying over top of the valkyrie and the marines he's losing all of his mutilists that's a huge mistake Flying over this group and then flying over this group as well. Ouch. That is painful. Now coming out with these two lurkers. He's going to try and get a whole position lurker play. Not going to happen here. Sock very active with his marine medic around the map right now. Keeping a marine down here just to make sure that this fourth base doesn't get, take, doesn't get taken too easily or early. Bunch of scourge coming out right now. They are in a good spot to catch any drops that might be coming in. We haven't seen any drops just yet. Instead, going for some uh, vultures here. And he might have mines as well. Yeah, he will have mines. Oh, coming in with the Valkyrie. Four Valkyries getting a couple more Overlord kills. That's super annoying right now. Gonna try and go across the map. Maybe catch whatever's popping out here. He's waiting for a vessel. There it is. He's gonna catch the vessel. Oh my god, this is so good. Gets the first vessel here. Really impressive play by Larva, knowing that that would be coming out any time now. He sees the main base as well. All of the uh, barracks are lifted, and it's pure factory. A mech transition here coming for Sock. Sock pushing away all of the Muta. He sees the 12 o'clock, though. Very important that he does see that coming down onto the low ground here. Sock wants to take his fourth immediately. Upon seeing that it's mech, you know that it's not going to be, you know, mass science vessel tons of irradiates and like lots of marine pressure with drops that type of thing it's time to take your fourth you need that fourth as soon as possible and that's what he's going to take but how will he play this out double hatchery here in the main i love to see it will he be going for hydralisk upgrades he's already got plus one attack for a melee on the way here i'm afraid that he might try he might try to go for uh ultra here that would be unfortunate i don't want to see him play ultra because it is you know kind of i would say the um the weaker style of taking on mech play i want to see queens i want to see mass queen mass hydralisk we'll have to wait and see here what's he gonna go for base up in the top left hand corner this is really sneaky by Saki. he knows that for the most part you know, Larva's going to be very focused right now on getting up additional bases on switching his tech. Ultraless Cavern on the way. Oh, no. Okay. We'll see how this goes. With this base up in the top left, Sok is going to have so much gas. He's going to have so many tanks. This is going to be real trouble, actually, uh, for Larva. If he goes Ultra here, that's going to be a problem. I think he's spotting this right now. I think he sees this factory on the way. Unfortunately, the factory just in range of that one single overlord. That is tipping the hand here over to Larva. Larva knows now that there's a base up there. And what will be his response? How can he get up there and deal some damage? Very important that he blocks, you know, some additional hatcheries from going down. It looks like some lurkers were out on the field he's trying to maybe take this space it looks like get some lurkers up there and try to take that away that would be very nice i have a fifth uh, gas here right off the bat but 
Some uh, defilers making their way to the front. More drones coming out here. He's really going to saturate these bases and get his production rolling before Ultralist Tech is ready. Does he go drop here? Drop is very, very good against mech play. Oh my god. Sock already going on the aggressive despite going up to five base. He's going up to five base right now and he's attacking. Sock is a goddamn legend, man. What a crazy man. I'm gonna drop a Dark Storm here. And the Lurker goes down. So he will be protected at least. You can't really break through this per se, but you can make it really, really tough for the Zerg. Even killing this gas. Oh, that is crazy. That is crazy, guys. He's going to kill the gas right now. The gas goes down. Oh, no. This is really bad for, uh, for, for Larva here. He loses two Lurkers. They can't even get uh, underground before the two plus two siege tanks kill them off. This is one of the best mech transitions I've ever seen from a Terran. Honestly, this is so, so good. So, so scary, man. How can you... How can he handle this right now? And he's killed so many overlords with his Valkyries. Look at this. Six, six, and five. These Valkyries are absolute heroes, man. Crazy, crazy good damage. He hasn't killed a lot of drones this game. But denying that gas is hurting the economy by a lot. We've got Marines pushing forward here. We've got tons of Vultures here as well. Looks like the last of the Valkyries. The last ride there of the Valkyries as they get taken out finally by larva man those have been such a pain in his side this entire game gonna drop a lurker here start to kill off a few of these vultures but he is relatively contained right now and with mines basically everywhere in front of all of his bases it's so tough for him to even think about pushing out here he's gonna siege up and kill the gas i think again that could be a huge huge play here uh, for Sock. If he gets this gas for a second time. Oh, he's going to draw the mines in. That dealt a lot of damage to these Ultra. The Ultra here. Going to draw that last mine in and kill this last tank. But that was like all the Ultra he's been able to produce so far. Very rough stuff. Oh, he doesn't draw the mine into these tanks. Oh, these two tanks got hit by it. But in this wave of tanks is crazy. That's so many coming in here. Drawing the mines in once again. Dealing a lot of damage, but also taking a lot of damage from these tanks and the mines. Larva really struggling right now as Sock continues to expand. He's going to keep throwing uh, his uh, tanks into this pocket and forcing the fight because he can't not fight here when the gas is being attacked. Going to come forward with Ultra once again, and the D-Matrix saves the life of that tank. Can he actually hit the uh, extractor from here? It's very close. It's a lot of tanks on high ground. Some of them are very low, though. If we can get a couple of Ultras up here, we should be able to break through. Mines just taking such a toll on this army, though, over and over again. More tanks. A deep, deep tank line here trying to drag the mines, but he's just not able to. Oh, man. Larva is falling apart here. He just can't. He can't break out, man. He's running out of time. He needs to get more bases online and grow beyond what the, the Terran is. If the Terran has more bases than you and they're going for like this style, this mech style, you have to have uh, more bases than them. Like it's just not a it's not an option to allow them to, to continue having more bases. You're going to run right up here on top of these tanks, try to kill some of them. But that's a lot of vulture. And with the tanks on sieging, they should be able to clear that out. More and more links streaming across the map. The Defiler there almost getting taken out, but it does manage to survive for another little moment here. Throwing down a few more Dark Swarms. He needs one more Dark Swarm. There we go. He gets one down, but looks like the Vulture is going to come forward and lay down another minefield here. That's going to draw all the... Oh, great job connecting with every single Vulture there. But still losing the Ultra to just a bunch of mines is not very good at this point. We're going to take the center right as well. Oh my god. This is crazy, guys. This is wild. This center left or this uh, bottom left here might actually be broken. There's only one sunken colony here and Larva is so focused on attacking here towards this natural 
He might actually lose that base in the bottom left. GG is called. Larva taps out. Man. Suck is a machine, guys. What a mech transition. Absolute god. Absolute god in this game. Guys, I know it's something that Artosis says all the time, but I have chills right now. Seeing this guy transition to mech, it's crazy how well he pulled this off. The play down here to get the uh, gas, the, to kill the fourth gas, that was insane. It's rare to see such a dominant mech transition off of kind of a neutral mid game. There wasn't really any significant damage that happens. It wasn't like there was a huge drop that killed a bunch of drones or anything. Sock just made it work perfectly here. And you know, the ultras, I gotta say it again, guys. I've said it a million times, I gotta say it again. The ultra play is just not the right call, I think. It really isn't. And we didn't see any mutas made after the Valkyries uh, were killed. If you make some mutas, you can easily clear out, especially if you get overload speed, you can clear out mines really efficiently by just flying around the map and you can avoid Goliaths and Marines and stuff. Just clear out the mines for your Ultralisk and Lings. You got to do something different than just run Ultras and Lings into mines because it's just so cost inefficient. And with Sock taking this really greedy base in the top left, he had so much money to work with. Jeez, guys, what is the rest of this series going to look like? We're going to find out here. Game number two coming right up. Ooh, what a game. What a game. I love to see the mech transition and having it done that well in a replay is uh, amazing to watch. It's fantastic. So we're going to take a look at this game number two here and see if Sock wants to redo that mech transition. He wants to play that style again or does he want to go back to his marine medic? He is very, very good with marine medic as well. And he has kind of a different style of doing SK Terran. He is very heavily reliant on dropships. And he likes to build two dropships before anything else out of his starports, which is... Um, not typical. Usually there are still mutas out on the field when the starports first come online, but he's pretty good at getting damage with them regardless. Now we're going to have an 8 racks here. So 8 racks is going to be the, the game 2 plan. I mean, mixing it in is great, but it's just so typical. It's so common right now on the, on the ladder. I feel like every game you're almost going to expect it. And look at this. Oh, man. Does he ever expect it here? We're going 9 pool. He uh, extractor tricks for the 10th drone. He's probably going to send this across map to find out where Sock is. And if I'm... Okay, he doesn't send it across? Really? Gonna mine with 10 drones? Well, that's interesting. I really thought that he would... Um, that he would send it across the map, but... Hmm. I guess he's just not going to know where he is. Two uh, SCVs being sent out here to spot where uh, where Larva's at. And his six lings are on the way here. He's going to send out this drone for the hatchery. But it's going to be pretty obvious here as the SCV arrives. Oh, he's just going to see the drone coming out. Oh, man. This could have tricked Sock so badly had he not seen that drone there. This could have actually been like disaster for Sock. Had he turned turned the SCV away and headed up towards top left. Didn't see the drone. These six lings might have gone all the way across the map. You know, completely unbeknownst to to Sock here, but instead he's gonna be able to get up on top of the ramp with his uh barracks. And he's going to be okay here. Lings are heading in the wrong direction. This is why I was saying that sending out your drone to find your opponent is kind of good. Yeah, you know, using that for a little bit of extra mining, I guess, getting the hatch down a little bit quicker is kind of nice. But it really is important to send out an early drone. And now he's going to find uh, Sock at the very last possible moment. And I don't think he can even break through here. This one Marine ready. He does slow down the factory a little bit, which is nice. 
Gonna be the factory follow up here. And that's really common with the eight racks play is eight racks into factory, vulture, and then a one, one, one. It's very strong, very annoying, especially if you take any damage. If you take any damage in the early game from the eight racks, it is brutal. Brutal, I tell you. Because you have to then, if you take a couple of drone losses, then you have to build a sunken colony after, which is, again, minus one drone. Then you have to immediately build a Hydra den, which is, again, minus one drone, because the Wraith is coming. And you have to pull all of your overlords back or try to hide them out on the map, which you can end up losing some on the map, which is very, very painful. So Hydralis Den here, he knows exactly what he needs to do. Just a single star port from Sock. He's going to get his CC down now that he's got a Vulture out to deal with these Lings on the map. There is a Lair here. Will he go for... Oh, he's going Groove Spine. I think he's going to get uh, Overlord Speed as well. We should be seeing Overlord Speed from Larva here because uh, it is possible to push with Hydra, but if there's a few mines on the map, you could end up losing all of your Hydra. Also, Cloak can really shut you down. Um, and it takes a long time for a Wraith to kill with Clo kill a Hydra with Cloak, but oh, what is this? He just canceled something. Maybe realizing that he already had an army and he accidentally, accidentally built one already. Here's This is a really common thing to do as well. Build a Wraith and then at, put an add-on on and, and do a drop with the uh, Vulture. It is hard to deal with. It is very hard to deal with. Coming in. Oh my god, he flies right over top of three Hydras and almost loses the Wraith already. Three more here in the main. Almost get the kill. 20 HP on that left. He really needs that. He actually needs this Wraith. To spot out everything that's going on and to kill overlords around the map. Here's an overlord. Oh yeah, he should be able to at least get that overlord. Oh my god, he loses the the vulture. Not the cleanest game here from Sock, I'll say. Jeez, this is not looking good for him already. Coming in with the uh, two lings. There's only two marines to get in this bunker. Two marines. I mean, you can hold off for a while, but... Oh god, it's just out of range. Can he actually outrange this? I don't think so. The bunker grants the marines just a slight bit more range, so you can actually hit Hydras even if they do have that range. Wraith looking around the map and a lot of Hydras being sent across here. He could just bust this. If you don't keep your SCVs uh, on top of this bunker, it can go down in a matter of seconds. It falls so, so fast. Looks like the Wraith actually got picked off by one of these hydras as well there it is that hydra the lead hydra here in the pack picking off that wraith third base going to be coming down here for larva and i do not like socks position right now man everything has been shut down really really hard here by our zerg player and look at that one tank on high ground he's going to start to focus down some scvs targeting them down we'll fall back here he could come in again. He could come in and kill this bunker, man. That bunker can go down really, really fast. Tank on high ground, though. You probably want to back off from this now. Does back away with the tank there being there. It's just not worth it to try and dive on the bunker anymore. A tank is going to be killing off your high just the entire time. And a second tank is out here as well. So Sock going to go for another mech play. Queen's Nest immediately here. So we're going to go straight on into Hive, a, an academy coming up. Are we going to go back into Marines? Tank Marine, actually. Okay, so not Mech. Yeah, not Mech this game. Should be starting plus one here pretty soon as well. Whoa, canceling another building. Really, a Sock. Kind of all over the place this game. Canceling two different buildings. He's building... He's got a Radiate coming here. That should help if there was like a mutilus switch. It's going to help with this hive as well. You can start to throw down the radiates on lurkers and defilers. But what is Larva's plan? He's got bas basically full control here. His worker count is very high. He's got plus one armor coming. He has his third gas online already. 
He can easily take a fourth right now if he wants to. Just hide one out on the map. Put in the top left or the top center. Something like that. It would be very hard for... Really, for Sock to do anything about that. We haven't gotten a, a good scout in the main here for a bit from Larva, which is a bit concerning, right? You don't know what exactly your opponent is going for. Is it going to be full-on mech? Is it going to be Goliaths coming out? Is it going to be this uh, Marine Medic? You're not really sure until you get in there with an Overlord, and he hasn't done that so far. I don't think he's invested into Overlord speed, which might be a mistake. Seven Lurkers on the way, though. Ooh. Okay. Seven Lurkers coming up here. He's going to contain, I think, the front. Oh, and he's got a Queen here as well. That's very nice. Queen with the Parasite. I think he can see everything here. Let's see. Yeah, he sees... That's so sick, actually. He sees the entire build here. With just one queen and one parasite. That is that is awesome, actually. I really like that from, uh, from Larva. A bit of creativity being thrown in here. That you absolutely love to see. Now, uh, I don't think that this uh, Lurker ball is what you exactly need to fight against the army that's coming out right now from our man Sock here. That's a lot of uh, Marine three tank and a fire bat. Pretty strong, a second fire bat coming up as well. Pretty strong against Lurker and Ling. He's gonna continue to make Lurkers here though. He has consume on the way now. Buying time for Adrenal to finish. He should be starting plus two armor, but he hasn't started that yet. I guess a little bit of panic going through Larva right now. He really does need to take a big fight here and make this work. Flying in with the Queen, kind of funny. Wow, the Marines just get obliterated there. Really good control by Larva to come in from all different sides here. Push everything back. He's going to jump right on top of these uh tanks here as they're trying to retreat getting on top of them is huge he should be able to focus down this tank he does get the tank and with the links here with the plus one you know we don't oh we have what plus one attack for the uh marines but it's even plus one to plus one plus one armor to plus one uh defense no uh, plus two on the way here for our zerg player he's planning on just ending this game right now He's going to come up here towards this natural. How close can he get with the Defiler to throw down the Dark Swarm? That's about as far as he could go. He might have been able to get it a little bit closer uh, if he tried, but he's just going to go ahead and wait for the next... The next Defiler? Where's the next Defiler? Oh, we don't have another Defiler coming here. Well, that's not good. He can't win the game right now. He starts plus two. Uh-oh. All right. I think that Larva thought he was going to win right there. But you can't quite win at this point. He's going to add on a couple more hatches here. Maybe pump out some more drones. Yeah, two more defilers on the way. Another evolution chamber. He's thinking late game now. With the drone heading up towards the top left. Might have been a little bit of a mistake. He lost his lurkers as well, looks like. Those lurkers went down after the, the uh, Dark Swarm finished. And Sock, I mean, he was always thinking ahead here. He's even got Restore coming on the way here. I missed it in our last series, but he actually did use Restore uh, last time against Larva. Uh, not in this video, but in the previous video between Larva and Sock. Uh, he used Restore on his tanks at the very end of the game to keep his tank from taking damage from the uh, Plague, which is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool to see Queen here. Should be able to throw down another Parasite in a moment. Would be nice to parasite like one of these medics or something like that. So he has like total vision on this. Oh no, the lurkers aren't going to make it up to the top left in time. Sock is getting around. He's actually making this into a really great game. I thought he was kind of brutally far behind there, but in this situation, doing a great job, honestly, of keeping this game close. We've got nine Hydras on the way, and Hydra's upgrades are coming. So, I think we're going to go into a Defiler, uh, like a Plague Hydra. 
mid game here as things start to slow down queen out on the map he's gonna set up a hatchery in the top right oh my god top right hand corner of this base that's so sneaky he's gonna set it up here I would like if he set it a little closer to the gas but he's really trying to be sneaky here huge block of marines and fire bats on top of this ramp means he can't actually take this but you know what if he comes up here and gets a big plague on this maybe he can actually break the high ground big plague here oh brutal brutal plague he needs some lings to consume right now but he doesn't have them fire bats here coming down trying to deal some damage but they are plagued so they do disappear very quickly looks like he used restore on this uh fire bat there kind of hilarious use of restore there coming forward to the front we've got quite a few tanks out just one single factory pumping those away so any uh, uh you know kills on the tanks will be very big here target down the vessel but vessel stays alive and the defiler will be irradiated gonna pick off the science facility it looks like that's actually kind of a big move Killing the science facility is very annoying here. We're going to have a uh, Nidus Canal connect over to the top left-hand corner. Once that goes down, he can come from behind and clear this out. He's actually going to get up here anyway. The Nidus isn't really going to matter that much. Dropping the lurkers here. He will kill this. But having the, uh, having the hatchery here means he can get the uh, Nidus up immediately. And he will also uh, be able to maybe mine this gas as well, right? He can start to mine that gas. Even if it's not totally efficient, it's going to help out a lot here. The Plague Hydra, you need a lot of gas. I'm getting that online as quickly as possible. Very, very important. So, moving around the map here. Getting some great irradiates down. Unfortunately, no Scourge right now available for... Larva to stop this, uh, oh, there's the Scourge. To stop this uh, constant drip of gas being lost by these irradiates coming down. He's gonna come down here and deal with this Marine on high ground. Plus one is done, plus two and plus three armor on the way here. No plus one upgrades. Oh, actually, on the way here is the tank upgrade. Great Plague there. Dark Swarm as well. Lurker there. Gonna hold that position for now, but a Dark Swarm goes down on the Lurker, so he could push through this. These tanks here. Holding a great position. Some Scourge coming up. Looking for some kills. Not gonna find any. And Irradiate on those. He's kind of flush with Irradiates right now. So even using them on... Oh, there you go. Another Restore. Funny to even hear that upgrade be used. So used so little. Not very often at all. Here we go. Oh, Hydra. Can I get a shot off? Should be able to. Not able to get that. Gonna run forward here. Dark Swarm. Dark Swarm. Plague? Do we have a Plague? No, we do not. Should be able to throw more Dark Swarm and Plague down on this army, but he doesn't. What is going on with this Defiler? Defiler just gonna retreat here. There's the Plague. Throws down another Dark Swarm here, but Sock pushing everything back once again. This is, uh, this is becoming a very strong position here for Sock in the middle of the map. He's going to come forward. Does he have another Plague? He does. Dropping that on all of these Science Vessels. He should be able to pick these off with Hydras here soon. Or maybe make one Muta. No, he doesn't have one Muta on the way here. Just the Hydralis so far. A lot of Scourge spread out around. He's ready for any sort of drop play. You can imagine that that should be coming here eventually. Although we haven't seen it yet. He's mostly just trying to control Sake's the middle of the map. Holding it down with tank. But hasn't added on another factory just yet. Just single factory tank production. And a third base finally going to come down here at 6 o'clock. Pushing forward here is Larva. Larva started this game with a very big advantage. And now he's going to be pushing down here. Taking out these tanks. Gonna solidify this position. Try to make an opening to get down here to the six o'clock and prevent Sock from taking another base. Picking off another science vessel. Look at this. The uh, repair squad here 
of the SCVs being sent out, but unfortunately they're all gonna go down to a bunch of Lurker. SCV repair squad did heal up quite a few of these, uh, or actually just one, and that went down. No, there, where is it? I think it went down. Oh, that's unfortunate. Using four SCVs to repair. Didn't end up paying off there for Sock. And another base is going to come down here. Going up to five base is Larva. His army is getting kind of scary. He's so good with the control on these Defilers. This is very, very hard, guys. To keep the Defilers alive. Prevent them from getting irradiated over and over. Keep the flow of Defilers coming. And keep the flow of Lurkers coming as well. Have defenses everywhere. Have always Dark Swarm ready to defend and attack as well. Some premium, premium gameplay here on the side of Larva, but he's unfortunately left a big hole in his defense over here at the center left. Oh God, Lurker's here though. Lurker's doing a great job killing off quite a few of these Marines. He's gonna quickly throw down a Dark Swarm here, but the Marines can run straight by. He's trying to block. You can see he was trying to block here with the Defiler, but not able to block at all there. Ultra gonna pop out at the very best timing here. Absolutely perfect timing on that Ultra list. Gonna save a lot of these drones and get this base back to mining. Very good for Larva, and you know what? Larva is gonna take this game nearly 100%. This is a Lotto ship. Time to roll the dice here. Sox sending the Lotto ships to the top left-hand corner. If he rolls double sixes, maybe he can still win this game. Tanks here, pushing forward. He's got tanks on high ground as well. He's really trying to control this area of the map in order to secure six o'clock. But here comes Larva. Larva gonna push in here as the drop comes down in the top left. We're gonna have to go picture and picture here as the drop could deal huge, huge damage. Running in, killing off a ton of drones and all the Scourge, the Scourge that were meant to uh, contest just such a drop end up going down there. Brutal damage here. He's gonna try and run forward. Great plague. Great, great plague there. Dark Swarm comes down. And Hydras are gonna be able to push everything back, it seems. With one Ultra, it's uh, definitely he will be able to clear this up. But losing that hatchery, very, very painful. Everything gets cleared there, but the drop ships do remain. They're gonna head back and maybe load up for another run. Meanwhile, here at the front, things are at a stalemate. Not enough uh, vessels to irradiate through this. And uh, Dark Swarm will just continue to go. Okay, he found one location where he can push through. But it looks like he might lose both of his vessels. Oh, one vessel just going down there. Base over here in the center right is huge, but you can see these are on a shift click. Gonna be sent down to the uh, center right there and should be able to deny that base. He should be targeting the Defiler here. He does target the Defiler, but not before the Dark Swarm goes down on two of these tanks. Two tanks will fall, but four, five, six tanks in the background are gonna be slowing down these Ultras, picking them off as they try to come forward here. Another Defiler making its way over, but this base has been cleared. He loses the control over center right. Six o'clock is going to be contested here as well. Another Defiler making his way over here. That should be a dead base. Dark Swarm should come up here. Do we still have that queen somewhere on the map? Where is that queen? No, I don't see a queen anywhere. I think it might have been... Oh, there it is. We found it. He could actually come down here. Maybe he could... What is it? Seven, 750, energy, uh, 750 um, health? It has to be down too. He might... That's uh, pretty close, man. This is close. Oh, a drop comes down in the center left, but Sock taps out after seeing that that's just not going to save him in this game. Ultras are in his natural. His bases are going down. Too bad that we didn't see Larva take over one of these command centers or both of the command centers would have been awesome. But too many Ultras here on the field and Larva takes game number two. A really great game by him. Great response to the 8 Rex. We'll see if Sock wants to play that game again. Or does he want to go back to... Mech play? Does he have something else up his sleeve? We're going to find out in game number 3. 
All right, a little bit of banter here from Larva as we go into game number three. I'll try to get a translated version of that up for you guys. But I'm sure that Larva may be, you know, talking, maybe revealing that he is, in fact, Larva. He is playing on a barcode account. But after that last game, you got to feel like... I mean, as Sock, you gotta feel like this is this is more than just a random barcode on the ladder. This has gotta be a pro player. The defiler control was just a little bit too good. It was like an action level or another, you know, pro Zerg level. So he's probably gonna be realizing it is indeed Larva here. Down in the bottom right now on Blitzy. Now, let's talk a little bit about this map before we get fully into this. We've got big old island chain here in the middle. It is surrounded by the main bases and this catwalk. This is quite an interesting feature of this map. We've got you know, this gas base here, it's all gas bases except for these plateaus on either side of the map. These are very important locations to hold. This catwalk is very, very thin, but there is buildable terrain here. I think this is buildable terrain. I'm not sure about this right here. But it could be a very strong map for mech. If you're able to hold this area right here, and you can hold the high ground here. You can actually control this lane that goes around to the back. And you can easily hold four bases. Now, I'm not sure that Sok is going to go mech this game. But I just thought I would mention that as a possibility. And second supply depot here going to be thrown down in the wall at the front. We do not have a gas just yet. Sok going to be taking his command center here soon. Hatchery on the way here. It looks like he did opt for the 12 hatch this time. Predicting that we wouldn't wouldn't see the eight racks once again here from Sock, and Sock is not going for that. It's looking much more of a standard build this game. We could have a mech transition later, but I'm assuming we're gonna see like a two racks play eventually come out of him. He's coming forward with some S, uh, with, with some Marines here. The SCV is allowed to start this barracks and uh, this uh, bunker and almost completes it before the uh, drones can make it down here to stop this. And oh my God, it just barely didn't complete. Oh, 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 350 health. It's done. It's done. Like what, what did they, uh, what did they forget? Like they forget to put the AC unit on or something. What's the, what's the last 1% of the bunker that doesn't allow the Marines to actually utilize it. At, it was at 350 health. That is crazy. They forget to put the espresso machine in or something. That is wild. I'm sure Sock a little salty about that one, but he hasn't lost any of his Marines and he's going to send them back home. So I think he'll be okay here. Three more sets of Lings are on the way. So, you know, Larva taking that very seriously. Did make a few... Extra sets of panic lings there, but it's gonna be okay. His uh, spire's on the way, and his gas is coming down here in the natural, so it's gonna be fine with a two hatchery build. Second barracks coming up here, and there's the academy. Should see a timing push from Sock with this many lings, maybe. You know, Larva can do something about it. Maybe he can counterattack, or maybe he can, you know, get us around as they're coming up a ramp or something. That would be really good. But um, having this many links early is, it's not the greatest feeling in the world. Third base going to go down at the bottom left. There's this little gap here as an opening, but there's also a gap here as an opening. So... It is difficult to defend a third base on this map. I'm curious to see how this will go with the two racks play. You can 
Come down to the natural, make sure there's enough sunken, and then immediately head down to the bottom left here as Sock. And it should be very hard for Larva to hold on to that. Now moving out here, the Lynx see the move out. They see the, the uh, Fire Bat. How is he going to do this? Is he going to attack this or is he going to counter attack? It really, it's really looking like a counter attack. Oh, he's going to try and surround the medic at the back. He gets it. <laughs> oh, Larva. You God, my hero. How? How did you make that happen? How did you get that? That medic there. That is crazy. Absolutely insane. What control from this man. And now here, he didn't build a sunken because he had those links counterattack and kill that medic. Sock really couldn't move across the map. He's going to lose the fire bat as well. Big, big moves here from Larva. It seems so small, but that was absolutely incredible. Beautiful, beautiful play from him. And now he's going to come in with these uh, mutas and, and look for some damage. He's not going to find any right off the bat here, it seems, but... He's not going for relying on that early, early damage. He's going to be getting his plus one upgrade here on the way. He has his third gas on, coming out as well. And looks like he's ready to fight these medics and marines that are out on the map. This ramp should be very difficult to aggress on top of. To get on top of this ramp should be difficult. But he loses a Muta already. That's not very good. Nice pick off on the medic though. Do not automatically target medics. So that was intentional completely by Larva. Almost losing this uh, Muta. That Muta could end up going down pretty easily to a turret shot. Gonna fly in. One pass here over top of the SCVs. Does he still have seven Muta? He does. So he can one shot SCV still. But the Marine Medic is heading out on the map. He actually needs to pull out here. Another few more kills. That was beautifully done by Larva. He ended up getting quite a few kills there. And I think he should have enough Mita uh, here in a moment to actually pick this off. He's trying to get that medic. He wants the medic so bad. Oh, that medic is so low. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to get that there. Might get it with a glaive bounce. That's a possibility. The medic is still very low right now. Okay, finally, it's going to heal up. That'll use the majority of the medic energy, though. And this medic is already getting low on energy. So that's a bit of a problem. More marines heading across the map here. We do have a sunken on the way. But oh god, it's not even started into a sunken yet. He's going to dive on top of these marines. But Sock hitting multiple locations right now. Larva's just not ready for it. His links are going to come out and start to fight here. But that's just one... That's just one uh, Muta here. He's going to have to bring the other Muta list pack over to the center left right now to actually deal with these Marines. Whereas these Marines are going to run into the main base past the sunken colonies, losing so many drones. Oh no, Larva. Losing so many drones here to just two Marines. This is some great play from Sock. Really messing with Larva here. He's going to add on some more drones so he can get that mineral income back up. And you can already see the mineral income is suffering greatly here. Only having 100 minerals, but 800, 900 gas in the bank. Very, very frustrating right now for Larva. He's going to come across the map. Now that there's, you know, he's eliminated that number of Marines, he can definitely put on some pressure. But, I mean, losing those drones is such a pain. He has to remake those right now. He can't really afford to make anything else. Queen's Nest would be really, really good right now. He has the Hydralis Den. He's getting into the Lurker upgrade, but that's going to take some time. And Queen's Nest is thrown down. So we will have that Hive transition. This has been a hectic game already, guys. Kind of wild. Sock really putting on that pressure like crazy, knowing that there was no sunken colony here. Splitting the, the defense really, really thin for Larva. He did a great job holding it off, though. Honestly, I would have lost way more. Way, way more there. But Larva handled that pretty darn well, about as well as you can hope. And with the Mutas here in a large enough pack to really continuously harass 
These Marines, that's so many turrets. Wow, Sock really thought that Larva was going to all in after that. Look at how many turrets he built. He honestly thought that this is an all in. He probably scanned the main and didn't see like a, a hive on the way and just thought, okay, you're just going to try and mute me to death, right? Not the case. Not the case. Larva rebuilt those drones. He's got the evolution chamber here. He should be starting plus one armor in just a second. And the hi uh, hive is nearly complete. Lurkers here at the front are about to pop. Oh, God. They're just a little bit late, though. Oh, no. He's going to catch a bunch of... Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we doing? Larva. Oh, no. Larva making a big mistake here. And this Marines are just going to run in. They're gonna, all going to burrow. The Lurkers are going to burrow. But the Marines are splitting perfectly around them. And that's it. All the Lurkers go down. GG. Larva, unfortunately, going to lose this game. That was a close one, though. Man, Sock, so aggressive. So just crazy with his Marines, sending them out every which way. And it just crazy, crazy pressure here with the Valkyrie play. A really nice transition from him. A little bit too slow on the Lurker play from Larva, and that results in a loss here. Damn, we've still got more games to go, guys. These have been amazing, though. I am loving this right now. I hope you are, too. I'm going to jump into our next game. Here we go, guys. Another one. Another one here. Larva over in the top right-hand corner. Sock in the bottom right. I never want this series to end, guys. This series is awesome. This might be one of my favorite casts this month. Well, this year. 2024. Great, great uh, matchup here. Really, really good um, match between these two. I would say, like, they're very close on the level. Their skills seem to be very well matched, is what I'm trying to say. God, I'm just tripping all over myself here. A lot of chatter going on between Sock and Larva right now. All of these games were played on the same day. I think I mentioned that before, but they're playing basically back-to-back -back over and over again, both at about 24 to 2600 on the ladder. Must be difficult to ma get matches, and often we see these series of back-to-back -back games when both players are on and at a similar level. And they're going to banter a little bit. We got Alex in the chat. Giving us some translation. But I will try my best to um, get a Google translation or get a translation from Alex to put that up on the screen for you guys uh, in the post of this video. We are here now on Citadel. Let's uh, take a quick look at the map here. As we can see, a another 12 hatch coming out of Larva. And no 8 racks here for Sock. He's probably just going to pressure with Marine, but... On this map, we have these little ramps here. No high grounds anywhere, except for at the, the very tippy top of these ramps. So there's they're basically vision blockers, not really high grounds on all these different areas. Taking an extra base here is a little bit tough. There's only one real location where Zergs can take a uh, a gas besides the other main bases, right? You could take a gas right here. That's a very small ramp and pretty easy to hold with Lurker, but we'll see what Larva wants to do here, where he wants to take his next base. It's a very large map with a lot of these small bases around, a lot of small ramps that are going to be very useful uh, for the Zerg player. In that defense, of course, there are a lot of these small uh, walls around as well, which tank play can be very strong at utilizing. If you can set up tanks along walls like this, then and fire over top at Zerg units, it's usually very, very strong. So we'll see what Sock wants to pull out here. Is he going to go for another mech play, another mech transition? 
I would love to see the mech transition again, man. He pulled it off so beautifully. I believe that was game number one. But for now, two racks play coming out here for Sock. Very confidently standing here in a line in front of his natural. Generally, you don't like to do that. You want to have a bunker or a, a supply depot in, in front of your Marines to make sure that your opponent's not going for a sudden Ling burst, just sending a whole bunch of Lings across the map to kill you. But in this case, he had the SCV over here. He was pretty confident that there weren't a bunch of Lings popping out. He sees the tech. We've got the Spire. And the base in the top left going to be taken. This is kind of where I expected the base to go. Could have maybe taken this one as well if you want to go for Hydralis Defiler, but... This is much more Larva style, just grabbing another main base. I'm going to play this out very standard, and... I'm not sure about the rush distance on this map. I'll have to kind of map it out. No pun intended. Ling run by here. Coming over towards the natural. And he's going to jump on top of this marine. The marine is trying to... Oh! Whoa. What a play there from Sock to keep that marine alive. Looks like he will end up going down. Losing both of these marines. Oh, it's really, really close. Good micro here, though. Loses only one marine to that counterattack. Impressive. Very, very impressive here. Two Marines going to head up to the top left. I like this from Sock. You can put them over here somewhere, hide them, and then come in at kind of an inconvenient time for uh, Larva. He's going to send his Mita straight over towards that top left. We'll see if he catches these Marines before they can spot the uh, hatchery or if he finds them at all. Maybe they can park themselves in kind of an unknown location. No, he sees that. I'm going to stim and just check, see what he can see here. Spots the 12 o'clock as well. And with the spotting here, he actually doesn't need any uh, commsats. So he's going to be able to pump out a few more workers right now, which is very, very nice for Sock. You know, he's, he knows exactly where the bases are. He already saw the tech. He sees the mutas. No need for these commsats. Really great optimization here. Just... Throws away a couple of Marines. That's that's uh, that's a bit of a loss, but it's definitely better to trade those for SCVs, right? He's going to have more SCVs here as we go into the mid game. And he's already got his factory down. He transitioned into that tech plate immediately off of the two barracks. Let's see if he goes for another. Um, yeah, it's going to be another Valkyrie play. Okay. Really sticking close with these Valkyries. He's loving that. Loving the Valkyrie play. Well, look at that. Hydroden thrown down by Larva. That's a very nice early Hydroden. We're going to have Lurker out here. Pretty close to the time when the Valkyrie number starts to spike. Like once we have maybe, you know, two, three Valkyries is when they becomes very scary. And that should be when the Lurkers are starting to kick in. Assuming he does start that Lurker upgrade immediately. He's going to get in here. He sees the... Oh, oh, no. No, 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 no. That's a lot of lost... Uh, a lot of lost uh, Mutas here. Yikes. Flying in a great trap by Sock. Maybe he should have flown out through this way, but... Larva decided to turn around there. At least he traded out a few Marines for those Mutas, but damn. A lot of lost mutas in that clump. Very, very sad for Larva. He is going to fly back in. Maybe get a few more kills here. Being hyper aggressive with these mutas. I think you got to realize that something's wrong here. When you see, you know, Larva being this aggressive with the muta. Lurker transition is coming. We don't really need these star ports. Or we don't really need these uh, Valkyries. Let's just see what he sees. Oops. He sees the natural. He sees the Hydra's already here. I think that Sock is going to realize that things are not going to go well for him right now. He actually changes into Dropship. Look at that. He cancels one of his Valkyrie after getting that scan. He built the one Valkyrie. So Larva thinks he is still going for Valkyrie. But he starts two dropships immediately. And we've talked about this a little bit in this uh, cast already. But have yet to see it. 
immediate two drop ship here is part of the mo of this player's sock he really likes to go for that quick two drop a lot of lurkers being made here still quite a few mutas in the main base where are the drop ships going to go to there they are right now they are loaded up this one not quite full just yet but he's gonna drop a few more marines inside there He's thinking about heading to the main base. There's the scan. He sees the scourge here. Oh my god. He spots it. He spots it. He almost gets the dropship. Holy. I almost missed that. Dropship there. Almost getting picked off. Was not expecting that. I was expecting maybe the mutas to be hiding somewhere inside the main base. But instead, we're going to have these drops head over towards the top left. After Larva tries to assassinate them unsuccessfully, Lurkers are going to move over here to defend this base. Here comes those Mutas. Can they get that dropship? He will get that drop. Dropship getting picked off here is big. Oh, he misses the Valkyrie though. He could have picked off that Valkyrie just now. Lurkers here in a stack over at the natural. Oh, he's going to move everything over here. Try to get the mix around. This is a great move by Sock. Running in here on top of all the lurkers. He's going to get a pretty decent surround, but he doesn't have scan. He delayed the scanners in the early game, so he doesn't have enough scan to finish off these lurkers. Oh, the irony. The irony here. Not having enough scan to break through. Oh. Oh, Sock. Nobody. Oh, that's so sad. Looks like he's going to come out here. Try to pick up another round of Marines and Medics. Okay, not going to pick that up. This uh, dropship very, very low right now. Where is he going to send that? Over towards the natural, I guess. That's a little bit funny. Two more drops making their way into the main. Oh my god. Sock is crazy. He is crazy. Going to drop a ton of Marines in here. He's killing a lot of these units. Looks like all the units went down over here at the third base but another drop coming into the natural right now absolute madman he's gonna kill the spire it looks like and larva dealing with a little bit too much right now he's not able to save that spire he's not able to save his spawning pool either he will keep his evo chambers alive which is very important you want to keep those evos up and he's eventually gonna clear this but he lost his gas geyser he might lose this gas geyser as well Sock is making this game super difficult for Larva right now, but this is not a late game play. We are going to start to pump out some vessels now, but we haven't pumped out very many. Oh God, he sent a bunch of Marines in towards the natural and there were lurkers there already. These are Marines are going to get cleaned up as well. That's unfortunate. So Sock, maybe not, uh, maybe faltering a little bit with his control here. After doing a lot of damage, killing a lot of drones, and slowing down some of these gases here, has he started to uh, to fall apart? Gonna have a defiler mound on the way. That third gas gonna be retaken once again. More and more drones being made here, but really all uh, Larva can do right now is just build drones, maybe build some Scourge, try to pick off some uh, vessels. But he's just gonna be sitting here defensive for quite some time. Two more drops coming out. What a madman. Absolute madman here. Sock going to keep this drop play going. Realizing that he killed the Spire. And we actually can't build Scourge. That's right. We don't have a Spire. Oh my god. Brutal. We can't do anything about these drop ships right now. And he's going to come in towards this main base. We do have two Scourge over here. Is he going to send these in without the scan? Scourge are ready. Can he actually hit this? Oh, he's going to get one of them. No, he doesn't get either of the drops. They're both going to unload, and he's going to kill three overloads for free. Three overloads going to be going down here. Lurker's going to try to run forward, but great split right now. Amazing split by Sock. He's going to even run up and challenge these Lurkers right here. Oh, I think this, this uh, challenge is not going to end up working out for him, but still, he did a lot of damage there. And he's continuing to irradiate over at the top uh, left-hand corner. He could do. He could have done an eraser trick. Eraser trick would have been amazing here, actually. He really wants to break through, though, and end this game, if possible. One Marine going to run all the way to the back. Just being a little bit annoying here. 
Not going to be able to dodge. She gets one more drone. What a god. Sock. Oh. Guys, this is an amazing, amazing player we're seeing right here. The birth of a champion, honestly. This guy, he's going to do great things in the ASL this season. I almost guarantee it. Two more dropships heading out on the map. He's looking for yet another follow-up drop into the top left-hand corner. There are two Scourge, though. He could split the Scourge and kill both. He could kill both here. One, two. He gets them both. That's a huge shutdown. Finally, something going Larva's way here. All of his uh, Lurkers are going to be irradiated once again, unfortunately. Look at all of these going down here. That is sad for Larva, but he should have some more popping out in a moment. He will be able to stabilize here. Finally, finally getting his feet uh, firmly planted on the ground. Larva stabilized for the first time. Can start to push out and take this fourth base. I can tell you from experience, making it through... The dropship mid-game, when they're really going crazy with drops, it feels like you're dealing with a million problems at the same time. You can hardly even think there's so much going on. And not to mention, like, move forward to the next phase. You're just trying to deal with all the craziness that's happening. But catching those drops right there, that has finally put Larva into a position where he can start to think about that next phase of the game. He can start to get up towards what appears to be a, a Defiler Lurker play or Defiler Hydra play. Gonna try and park the Defiler over top of the, the Lurkers here. Unfortunately, though, these are gonna connect. Nice job hitting a couple of these vessels here. He's getting way too much value out of those vessels. Really needed to be cut down to size. Only six vessels remain. That's still a lot of irradiate, though. A lot of irradiate to come out here. We're gonna push forward. Oh, great plague. Gets almost all of these uh, vessels. Should have some Hydra coming up to the front here soon as well. Lurker, still three underneath that Dark Swarm, so he's gonna be safe for now. Has those extra macro hatcheries finished up. Lot of Hydra and Ling popping out here. Oh, he's going to try and bust this. Oh, my God. Just going ham with the fire bats. But the fire bats, yo, you can't break that. Fire bats here are going to go down. Another great plague comes down. It actually hit, I think, the lurker. So the lurker, unfortunately, is going to go down to 1 HP as well, which is a bit sad. 3 HP, actually. But, um... I think Larva is, is he's okay here, right? He is going to be fine. He's going to have Hydralisk upgrades on the way. We should have another uh, armor coming up soon. Plus three armor should be starting in a moment. Five overlords being produced right now. He was supply blocked. Does have his fourth gas on the way. There's the uh, plus three armor coming up. One Hydra here just to help defend from that science vessel, unfortunately. Going to be casting that from out of range. Another Dark Swarm going to come up here. But two more Lurkers will fall. And there's just one low HP Lurker. One high HP Lurker underneath this. Looking kind of breakable right now. But we are going to have some more units popping through. To reinforce this position. When are we going to see... Uh, the attempted breakout here from Larva... He needs to get a good plague on some of these units. And then he can really start to push out. So he's chasing down some of the science vessels here, but not able to connect. He does want to push out here pretty soon and, uh, you know, take over this area so he can eventually snag this base right now, right there. Great targeting by Sock to actually get rid of the majority of the Scourge, but he will lose one low HP science vessel. Still has a big group of Science Vessel here in the middle. A lot of them are low on the HP. This is a position I would like to see him bring those four SCVs out. The, the repair squad. Bring them out to the front and have them repair up all of these Science Vessels. Because that is a lot of value that could be lost here by just a few Hydra Spines. 
or to a few Hydra Spines, excuse me. Throw down another Dark Swarm here. Has enough for a Plague? No, he does not. He should consume a Hydra and just go for it. Yeah, here we go. This should be amazing. No. Oh, great split there by Sock, keeping that alive. Still keeping a uh, eye on this 12 o'clock. He wants to deny that fifth base from going down for as long as possible. We do not have another uh, attack upgrade coming here. Okay, there we go. Attack upgrade just starts now. Armory on the way. Three tanks. Three tank production. I love it. Really, really smart play here by Sock. He's even got the ability to make uh, battle cruisers as well, but he hasn't uh, opted for that. It's not really very good against Hydra's Defiler, unfortunately. Hydra's going to head down towards the bottom left. Already has been taken by Sock, by the way. During all of that pressure, yeah, we're just finally going to see Larva start to push out. Sock has gone up to four base. So a four base Sock here. Very, very scary. Oh, the Marines are actually not in the bunker. He's not in the bunker. He needs to go. He needs to go. What is he doing? Oh my god, he could have killed this base. He could have killed this base. We had nothing in the bunker. Oh man, that is too sad. Larva missing a big opportunity there. Not realizing that there was nothing in those bunkers. He's going to pick off a few more science vessels here. And Marines are going to push forward with a lot of tanks. This is going to start to get a little bit hectic. Now he's going to try and break this and he's not running forward. You need to right click past the bunker and then start to attack it. If you want to break this, go in there, go in, go in. Okay, he is going to get in there. Plague goes down, not bad, but he is in a bit of a desperate spot now. The radiates are coming down on everything and a lurker is going to try to run out here. Burrow, oh, just in time. It does make it underground. So he will be able to hold this position for a bit. You can see Sock, he loves this. Bring forward the tanks, try to kill the gas. This is his MO. This is exactly the way he plays it out in some of these other games. He's doing a great job of it. Looks like he's going to take this fight. Oh, man. These Firebats getting a lot of kills. Those Cracklings doing almost nothing against that wall of fire that Sock just annihilates those Zerglings with. That is rough, man. Not too much right here at the moment. Maybe if Larva can put enough an, uh, an army together and drop a Dark Swarm here, he could actually push through. Another Dark Swarm going to come down on top of this. He should Dark Swarm this, um, this spot right here. There we go. Lurker's in position. He can't hit this uh, gas here, but we still have yet to take a, take a fifth gas. The fifth gas really needs to come down because we're at 21 minutes. 21 minutes is when the uh, geysers start to run out here depleted. This one is near depletion as well. It's so important that we get another base here. Oh, God, the Eraser Trick going to come through. Sock is dominating. Absolutely dominating. He is so scary with this uh, Marine Tank style, man. So, so scary. It's like usually at this point, we would see Larva really taking over the map. Spreading out everywhere and like hitting different locations with Defiler and Hydra, but... Look, he can't even make any progress here. His sock is all over him. He's blocking everything. He's taking another base here. He's getting the uh, the kills on the drones over at the, the fourth base. And preventing the fifth base. He even built a, he built a bunker. Oh my god. Sock. What a legendary player we're seeing here. He's even going to come out with some ultra. Larva is going to try to utilize ultra here, but... With this number of tanks, man, Ultra is just not going to cut it. Ultra under Dark Swarm. But it gets completely destroyed. There's so many tanks spreading out a massive line. Look at all the fire, but the train of fire coming across the map here. He's building so many firebats at this point. He knows how far ahead he is and that firebats are just going to make uh, Larva's life miserable because he is out of gas here at his natural he's busting through everything look at all the fire bats going to town here on this base just destroying absolutely destroying the fourth here and knocking larva out of this game so impressed with sock right now guys so freaking impressed with him absolute destruction who is going to be able to stop this guy in asl 
Who dares even try? This guy is crazy, crazy good. I love the triple tank. I love everything about Sox play. His uh, crazy commitments to the mid game drop ships. Just ripping Larva apart. Wow, what a game as Larva finally taps out. Sox stands victorious once again. Crazy, crazy good games here, guys. And we've got yet another one here. One more for you. We're going to jump into that next game, guys. I cannot wait to see it. Let's go. Oh, well, it's such sweet sorrow to be here in the final game between Sock and Larva. Apocalypse will be our final map. These guys met multiple, multiple times on this singular day on ladder, but this is the last one. Hopefully we'll be able to catch them playing some more games in the future. I would say this would be a great person for Sock to utilize as a practice partner, you know, if, if he's able to get uh, a connection with Sock out of, the, or with the Larva out of this, then have his, his mind on his side. The Larva's not competing this season in ASL, so he's a perfect a perfect candidate for a practice partner. You could just see that Sock has really been finding ways to pull him apart though. With the drops, with the tank play. You can see that a lot of new ideas. Sock is working with in a totally different style from most other Terran players. Like, who else do you see who's playing quite like this? It's really awesome to have some creativity coming from the Terran side. And rather than getting just abused on new maps, really finding ways to abuse them himself. Especially with these tank positionings, able to take out uh, gas geysers, simulators. It's really awesome to see. Now, now Socks are going to start off here on Apocalypse. This is more of a a well-known map. We've been we've had this map in the map pool for quite some time. Things have been worked out a little bit more here than something like Citadel or Blitz Y. And we're going to see the wall in here at the front. We should be having probably a second barracks here as well for Sock. But first off, we have to throw down that CC. And maybe we're going to do a little marine pushing here as well. This is something that Sock does every single game. And it, it reminds me of something like, for example, uh, the... Uh, in ZVP, where you have the first few zealots, like you build a gateway in the front and you start sending zealots across the map, it's a very delicate balance. You start sending zealots across the map in a slow drip, and you kind of gauge how many marine or how many lings are being produced by the Zerg player. You try to limit them on how many drones that they can make. But if you get caught out and you lose all of your uh, zealots, or in this case, Marines, you will have a much weaker push uh, push timing a little bit later on. So, very reminiscent of that. Very dangerous game that both sides are playing. How many lings can be made and how many uh, Marines can push across the map. And look at this. Only two lings were made this game. That is crazy. I guess Larva saw that with the Overlord, and he sees them now back at home. So he's fine not to produce any more lings, but... Was he actually able to see those Marines moving out just now? I'm not sure. Sock actually going to turn around and head back. But it's, it's really surprising to me that he's not going to pull the trigger. There are four lings now on the way, but he's got his SCV here. He's going to see exactly when those pop out. And there they are. They're going to pop now. And Ling speed finishes up. He sees six Lings. 
Definitely will want to get behind this uh, wall here. Six slings. Oh, God. What is he doing right now? Is he going to go after the Overlord? All right. He's going to get back in behind the wall here. And from this position, he should not be able to be broken. Should be impossible to get broken here. That is a lot of lings, though. He's hiding four. He's revealing six. He's hiding four. So total ten lings here. I think he's going to try and crush this army. Sokka's going to move out with something he thinks can kill six lings. And it's actually going to be ten. Is that what we're going to see here? Stim is just about to finish second. Medic is about to pop out. We're adding on three more barracks right now. This is not a two racks timing. We've got plus one on the way. I would love to see Sock just sit here. But I have a feeling he's going to want to push and try to force Sunkins. Yeah, he's going to move out. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not good at all. Here comes the 10 links, man. He's going to hit this. Oh, he's looking for a kill on a Marine. Not able to get it. That was a weird Marine doing a little dance there on the left-hand side. A little bump and grind on that medic, but does manage to find a little tight position here behind the medics their beefy beefy bodies making a little wall for him Midas are going to be on the way now and what I thought was going to be a pretty big shutdown here from Larva jumping on top of all of these marines is actually not going to be the case instead he's going to wait with these lings here at the natural and start to aggress onto Sock with his Midas. Now, this is the first time we've seen a 2.5 hatch out of Larva. We'll see how this goes for him. He's going to fly in. Look for some Marine kills here. Going after a turret as well. Uh, with the 2.5 hatch, yeah, you're going to have quite a bit more Midas uh, with your first initial round. He did lose a Midas already, so down to six now. He can no longer one-shot SCVs. Going to pull one of the Midas out here. I like that. Keeping that one alive. It is going to slowly regen that HP. Lings are going to come up. Thinking about taking a fight right now, but... Does want to add on some more Mutas here before thinking about doing that. Looks like he made uh, squeezed out a, a round of drones. Now going to go for a counterattack. This actually could be huge. He's going to catch these Marines as they're coming in between the, um, the main and natural. Oh, no! The Marines came back, though. Great pincer attack from sock catching a lot of these mutas so many of them went down very very low on that hp on some of these mutas that is brutal there was only like four mutas there five mutas so it looked like a really good play to jump on top of these turrets and kill the marines that were coming out of the natural or out of the main base into the natural but this group instantly hightailing it back to the natural Catching those Zemitas from the bottom side. Very, very bad news for Larva, who's going to lose an Overlord here as well. That was probably the Overlord he was using to micro his Mutas. He will be supply blocked now with a Hydra stand. Now, finally on the way here. Factory is just about done. We're going to see a transition from Sonk in not too long, but he's got this big ball of Marine Medic out on the field, and he's got four uh, barracks production here. Plenty of production. Oh, he's going to fly in again. Damn. Another Mutalist goes down here. Sock doing such a good job of trapping in the Mutalist every single game. Getting in behind them. He can't really get in behind them on this part, but yeah, there you go. He's getting in on top of this again. Crazy, crazy good play from him. Some Marines. Oh, this is what I was talking about last game, guys. He's hiding two Marines down here. I didn't see those break off, but he managed to get them down into this base, and he's going to wait. He's going to wait until the drones are there, and then he's going to hit the stim button and kill a ton of drones. Oh, that's so bad for, for Larva here. He has no idea about this. Has absolutely no clue. Looks like he's going to go for a counterattack right now. Running back into the natural once again. He hasn't learned his lesson yet. He's going to kill off both of these turrets, and look at that. The Marines come in and kill every single drone. Down at the bottom right. That is so frustrating. Losing all of those drones down there. He's not going to be able to mine that gas. You'll have to produce something down there to actually kill those Marines first. And then start to produce some drones. And meanwhile, the Marine Medic is making his way over here towards the natural. I think Sock 
has just outplayed Larva in this game. I don't think he can come back from this. Lurker upgrade's not even done. He can't make Lurker. He doesn't have a Sunken. He's going to come forward with all of his links and Hydra's Mutas in the air as well. But so many of them are going down. The Mutas are being targeted here. All of them fall. The drones are pulled to fight as well. But the Marines are standing strong. GG is called. Sock takes him down. What an epic battle here between these two legends. Absolutely insane how good Sock has become as of late this guy is crazy crazy good i cannot wait to see his performance in the asl guys if you like this video make sure to give it a like subscribe and also head over to my live stream i live streamed this cast and i'm gonna go ahead and analyze some of these replays after the fact and we will get to some ladder games Try to improve our Zerg play. We're about 1,800 right now. 1,750, something like that. But we're working on making our way into A rank. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.